Hello, we are going to solve this exponential problem. This is t to the power of 2 minus t to the power of 3, and this equals 150. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. So we have t to the power of 2 minus t to the power of 3, and this equals the 150 here. We can express it as summation of 125 plus. 25. Now, if you observe, why are we using 125 here? And why are we using 25 here? Because 125, we can express it as 5 to the power of 3. And this exponent will correspond to this other exponent. Also, the reason that we are using 25 here is that we can express this 25 as 5 to the power of 2. And the exponent here corresponds to this other exponent. So that's why we are going to use 5 power 3 and 5 power 2 respectively. Right there. So the equation becomes t power 2 minus t power 3 equals 5 power 3, which is 125, plus 5 power 2, which is 25. So the next thing we are going to do will be to move each of these terms right here over to this other side. So we have t power 2 minus t power 3 minus 5 power 3, it becomes negative, remember, when it crosses equality sign, minus 5 power 2, the same thing here, and this equals 0. So, let's group them, the t power 2, and this other one here, and the t power 3, and this other one here. So, we have t power 2, minus 5 power 2, then we have minus t power 3, minus 5 power 3, and this equals zero. So right now, what we are going to do will be to factor out minus, there's minus here, there's minus here, we can factor it out. We have t power two, minus five power two, then we can factor out the minus. Let's divide this, so we have t power three. This minus here will cancel this, we have plus five power three, and this equals zero. So, this is all we are having. We have this and we have this. So we need to expand each of this. For us to expand this, we can make use of difference of two squares. If you have a power two minus b power two, this equals a minus b times a plus b. And for us to expand this, we are going to make use of this other identity. If you have a power three plus b power three, this equals this is a plus b times we have a squared minus a b plus b power 2. So we use this here and we use this one here. So let's do that. Remember our a is t and b is 5. So for this one here, a will be t minus b that is 5 times t plus 5. Then there's minus here. I have minus, and now I'm coming over here, times a plus b, that is t plus 5, times, this is t power 2, minus 5 times t, that is 5t, plus 5 power 2, and this equals 0. So right now, we can have it as, this is t minus 5, times t plus 5 minus this is t plus 5. This is t squared minus 5. t plus this is 25 and this equals 0. So there is t plus 5 here and there is t plus 5 here. We can factor that out. So we have t plus 5 as the common term there. Then we divide this by t plus 5. So we are going to have t minus 5, then there's minus, we have minus, then the whole of this. If you divide this by t plus 5, we are going to have t squared minus 5t plus 25, and this equals 0. So what we are going to do will be to multiply out with this negative. So we are going to have t plus 5 times this is t minus 5. Then we have, this is minus t squared, this is plus 
5t. This is minus 25. And just multiply everything with this negative here. And this equals 0. So from here, I have t plus 5 times then let me have my negative t power 2. I have t here plus 5t. So that will give me 60 negative 5 minus 25. That will give me negative 30. And this equals 0. So from here, what I'm going to do will be to rearrange the second bracket, this one here. So, but let's just equate each of these brackets to 0. So I can have t plus 5 equals 0. I equate this one to 0. I also equate this one to 0. That is negative t squared plus 60 minus 30 equals 0. So for this first equation here, for us to solve for t, what I'm going to do is move this positive 5 over here. It becomes negative 5. So I have t equals negative 5. So this is my t1. For this, I'm going to make sure that I eliminate this negative here because if you consider the general quadratic equation, that is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The coefficient of x squared here must be positive a. So this is negative 1. So we need to multiply everything by negative 1 or we divide by negative 1. So let's copy it out. We have negative t squared. Then we have plus 60 minus 30 equals 0. So I'm going to divide this by negative 1. 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 So what I'm going to have would be this divided by negative 1. We have t squared. Then minus 60. This is plus 30. This will change to then this equals 0. So what I'm going to do will be to solve this quadratic equation. We are going to solve it using the formula method. And we are going to write the formula in respect to t. So the formula is t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. The equation of t squared is 1, that is our a, negative 6 is our b, and this is c. So let's have it here. We have t equals negative b, negative times negative 6, plus or minus square root of b squared, negative 6 power 2, minus 4 times a, that is 1, times c, 30, divided by 2 times 1. So from here, I'm going to have t equals, this is 6, plus or minus square root of, this will be 36, minus 4 times 1, that is negative 4 times 30. That means we are simply going to have, that should be 120. So we have that, divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals this b6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 120. I have negative 84 divided by 2. So from here, you can have it as 6 plus or minus. There's minus here. You can have square root of negative 1 because of the minus times square root of 84 divided by 2. So from here we have t equals this is 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 1. I have i times square root of 84. I can express it as product of 4 and 21. We have 4 times 21. That is 84. In which 4 is a perfect square. Divided by 2. So from here I have t equals 6 plus or minus i times here. I can have square root of 4 times square root of 21 divided by 2. So from here, I'm simply going to have t equals 6 plus or minus i times square root of 4, that is 2 times root of 21 divided by 2. So from here, we are going to have t equals 6 plus or minus, multiply this out, this i2 
root of 21 divided by 2. So cancel this at once. Cancel 63, cancel this one. So this equals 3 plus or minus i times root 21. So we have two values for t, two complex values. So you can have t equals 3 plus i times root 21. That is our t2. We have gotten our t1 already. And also, or we have t3 equals 3 minus i times root 21. So we have two complex solutions here. And we also have one real solution, which is negative 5. So if you want to check and maybe insert that value for t, remember we have t equals negative 5, that is our t1. And the question remains, we have t power 2 minus t power 3 equals 150. So let's insert this negative 5 for t. We have negative 5 to the power of 2 minus we have negative 5 to the power of 3 equals 150. So from here, negative 5 to the power of 2, this is 25 because negative raised to the power of an even number will be positive minus negative 5 raised to the power of 3 will be give you negative 1 to 5 because negative raised to an odd number will give you negative. So you have 5 raised to the power of 3, that is 1 to 5. So you have negative 1 to 5 and this equals 150. So from here, what you are going to do will be you have 25, then negative times negative, that is plus 1 to 5. This equals 150. So 25 plus 1 to 5, this is 150. And this equals 150. Left hand side equals right hand side. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.